You want to create some great beats in Cakewalk? Check out this video and learn how to set this up. In this video, you will learn the basic steps on how to create a drum beat in Cakewalk. We will use a VST drum kit to play all the sounds through MIDI. This way you have much more possibilities to edit and change the sounds compared to triggering loose samples. After starting Cakewalk, right click and select Insert Instrument and I will choose the MT Power Drum Kit, one of the free VST plugins that I have installed on my computer. And I click on Create. This will create the first MIDI track. Next I right click on the track that is created and select the Piano Roll View. You see a lot of bars, but I want to create a two bar beat, so I right click and select set loop points and now I drag the yellow end to create a two bars loop. Most of the sounds of the power drum kit are situated from the C3 key upwards on this system. If you click the keys of the on-screen keyboard you can listen to the sounds so you know which one you should use. I want to use 16th notes in this example so I put the snap on 16 and the draw section on 16 also. So now it's time to create your first beat. Let's start with the bass drum or kick at every whole beat of the bar. I can select the draw icon at the top and then I can draw by double clicking on the place where I want to put the note. So you will see the notes placed within the bar and at the bottom you see what the velocity of that note is. And because we just clicked the notes in they all have the same velocity. Velocity is a value between 1 and 128 and it tells you how hard a note is played. This happens when you use a MIDI keyboard or drum pads, so a velocity of 128 is the loudest. If you want to change the velocity of any note and make it louder or softer, all you have to do is change the velocity by drawing over them. So now you might hear some of the beats have different volumes. Time to add a snare. And I will do this on the second and fourth beat. Now if you want to edit velocity of the snare and not the velocity of the kick, you have first to select the snares and then go to the velocity window and draw the velocities there. Time to add the hi-hat. And for this we only need to drag from left to right in draw mode, holding the mouse button down and this will add 16 notes per bar. All highest sounds are now on the same velocity. So when I select them all, I can change the velocity of the hi-hat in the lower part of the editor to make it sound more human. If you want to remove a note, you set the mouse in smart mode and then you just click on it and press the delete button on your computer keyboard or you just right click. If you want to remove several notes at once, just select them with your right mouse pressed. If you want to move a single note, you can drag it by clicking in the middle and move left or right or up and down. Well, that's how you can create a basic drum track in Cakewalk. Now it's time for you to create some beats of your own. You know how to do this now. Check out the other examples of rhythm patterns we have or will create in future. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep you updated.